thank you for joining me on my channel. Uh, before we get started with some of the haul items I've got picked up for you guys today, I just want to show you this uh, tripod kind of light thing that I just picked up off of Amazon for recording my videos. It's so cool. It's way easier than my ring light. And uh, hopefully it's going to solve some of my lighting issues with some of my packages. So there you go. All right, so this is the light stand I got. It's got an adjustable arm here. Can go up, down. This can twist a variety of different ways. You can go tall like that. I'm going to be recording like that with my phone in here. And uh, the lights are just on the side. I press the right one. So you can have the light there you can have the light down here and the light is in a variety of different shades you can have it lighter brighter different patterns and First, I want to show you some stuff that I got from my local dollar store. First thing, I got 24 sheets, designer paper, it's 12 by 12 inches. I just got this because I thought it would be good for doing haul videos um, to use as a background. Oh, that's pretty. one's pretty. <clears throat> hello Luna. Luna wanted to say hello to everyone. She hopes you're all doing well. Oh yeah, I got that paper. I got this. So, I opened it up already because I was doing some recording. Well, I thought I was doing some recording. I was showing all the glitters and everything and talking. And then I look and my camera wasn't on. All right. So this one I got for $4. I'm in local dollar store. $4 for this. I mean, th these containers aren't very big, but to be honest, for four bucks, can't go wrong. There's a bunch of smaller hex glitter, bigger hex. Make shape, there's caviar beads, stars, hollow hearts, small glitters, blue, blue and gold big hexes, there's hearts, glitters, mixed hearts, mixed glitter, hexes. Oh, look, there's cat hair on it. The cat hair is free. <clears throat> Four bucks. All right, I got a couple of practice hands. I didn't realize I was getting two right hands, but whatever. It'll do. These, I paid less than seven bucks for these. Um, I've never used practice hands before, so I didn't want to invest a ton of money into it until I knew how to use them and supposedly these are flexible or you're able to pose them but really they just feel like hard plastic we've got the beds for you to put the nails in i got those too hello luna hello do you want to say hello to everyone luna hi <laughs> There's Luna just trying to say hello. 
I got two packs of these. Elastic Skin Sleeping Pack. I cannot tell what is in them for ingredients. But hopefully I won't burn my face off. I don't know. Overseas they have some pretty nice beauty products though. There's five in here. They look like little eggs. We'll give it a try and I'll let you know. I got some more poly gels. We got Silver Sky. PGS012, so it's just a mix silver glitter. This one is Blue Ocean. This is actually what I'm wearing right now. I have it already. I don't know if you can see that very well. Luna. So that, Blue Ocean, PGS009. This one, the Golden World, PGS002. Emerald Youth, PGS001. Nice glittery poly gels. <clears throat> okay, this is something I got off of Amazon. Da da da. Da, da 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 Model 1's UV Gel Polish. It is a color changing polish. I wanted to try the Model 1's polish. I've never tried it before, so I can't wait to give it a shot. It looks awesome. So, there are six bottles in this kit. I love color changing polish, honestly. Nice purple, purple. Oh my gosh, why is it so hard to get out? Am I dysfunctional? Probably. It's like a nice maroony red color. Oh, that's a nice kind of a purple actually. Maybe I'm just tripping out. It looks purpley blue to me. So it's kind of a. It looks supposed to be purple, but it looks really blue to me. watching these see what they look like. And this one is a nice fiery red. Yeah. Model ones. Amazon. Black pencils. I just said whack pencil. 
<laughs> it's not a whack. It's a wax. My other one is starting to look a little rough. Rough around the edges. It's cracked. Where did I crack it? Right there, it's cracked. So I have to be super careful. And it's getting all gross on the outside. I saw somebody use top coat, I think, to um, brighten it up. I don't know who that was, but. Then I got these nice rhinestones. They're kind of, uh, well, they're hearts with, it's kind of like a green and a blue and a gold shimmer. And there are 112 mil pieces in here. This one is 100 pieces, seven by 15 mil. A horse eye, the shape is called horse eye. So these are kind of like black with blue and a green shift to them. Super pretty. I haven't actually used any of these yet. I've bought so many of these rhinestones from this company, but I haven't used a lot of them yet. I got this big. This is a fun one. I like this one, but if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm a fan of sparkles. So first things first, I got this uh, mermaid powder. She's really pretty. to try it out. Oh, they always come in this little bag with an applicator, little sponge applicator. All right, so once upon a time, I got some, let's see if I can find it here. Oh girl. Who knows where mama put it. Anyways, I got some shattered shards of glitter. They were holographic. I've used them many times on other nails. So they look just like that. Silver holographic shards. And I just love them so much that I had to get some more colors. Yes, I did. Oh, this blue is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Don't tell me that isn't pretty. Mm-hmm. And you get a ton in here. And they're actually very reasonably priced. And they always double bag, which I like. I really like this one. This one's kind of like a dark gray holographic. Oh, they're just so hollow. I love them. I love the irregular shards. I mean, I love normal glitter too, but... I don't know, the irregular shards, they just speak to me. They had so many other colors too. I just stuck with these four for now because these were all colors that I loved in particular. So this is like a teal hollow. So pretty. Oh. I just love the sparkle. And then this one I had to get because it kind of matches my hair color, actually. I 
That one's a really cool color. I see like deep shades of purple in it. Do you see that purple? Okay, oh, I keep getting these things all crooked. Okay, what do I got in here? Oh yes, 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 yes. So, as I was just saying, I love irregular shards. So I got these kind of Aurora powders. Well, they're like the regular shards. They're from Full Beauty. And actually, you know, nothing really spilled in that green transport, so that's good. But, so, this one's kind of got like a greeny gold shift. This one's like blue. I'm gonna take it up. This one's kind of like white. This one's got purple, white. This one's like pinky and orangey. Oh, these are always so hard to open. Oh my goodness. I need some kind of sharp tool to help me open this. I'm scared I'm gonna friggin' spill it everywhere. Oh my goodness. And now I've dropped my tool. Oh, I totally just spilled these everywhere. I told you, I knew I would do that. I'm such a klutz. And now they're all over my shirt with all the cat hair. Okay, so I'm only gonna open one of these cause I can't be trusted with them. So they're just like really fine, really delicate, irregular shards. Aurora, so they have a really nice color shift. You know, there's multiple colors. I don't think the camera picks up all the colors that are in there. But, hopefully you get an idea. Of course I had to get some foils. These are just small packages of foils. Um, I think they're like, I don't know what it is, like, I wanna say 20 centimeters, but I don't think that's right. Maybe it's 20. Okay, so we got a nice Audrey Hepburn here. Beautiful, Audrey Hepburn. Good old Liz Taylor. This one says Katherine Hepburn, but I cannot confirm that. This one's a nice pop art. There's Einstein, Michael Jackson, Charlie Chaplin, John Lennon. Beautiful Miss Audrey again. This is the lovely Marilyn Monroe. This one's really cool, I like this one. Fight for your life. OMG. Nice old newspaper one. And then this guy, or gal, I should say. All the lovely ladies of our past. Oh, 
this one's stuck together. Let's see if I can coax it apart. And you know what, I'm gonna put a different background down just because I want these foils to come across the camera clearly and I don't feel like they do on the sparkle background. So, let's just do this, shall we? This is a nice floral one. My trusty light here. Nice floral. This one's a pretty floral. Kind of a, I don't even know what those flowers are. They are pretty. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. Don't know the names of things. I guess it means I'm... I don't know. I just don't know a lot about flowers, honestly. I know they're beautiful, but I don't know the names of them. I'm not a very good gardener. I've never been a good gardener. I can keep cats alive. I cannot keep plants alive. So... I, this one's okay. I mean, these aren't really colors that I love. I tend to gravitate more towards like bright colors, pinks, purples. But if I wanted to do something more subdued, these would be my go-to. I mean, I'm not extra at all. My nails are not extra. They're very plain and <laughs> no, I can't even keep a straight face honestly I'm super extra I love all the bling give me all the jewels give me all the colors give me everything in fact uh, well it's almost October so this is a set I threw on um, about a week and a half ago because my regular job is working in a warehouse. I work for a construction equipment dealership. I am a parts person there. Um, but we were getting ready to do inventory. So I wanted to put on just a set of short poly gel nails because poly gel is very strong. I love poly gel for that. And uh, even though I had to put on some short -er nails, um, you know, I had to keep them cute, right? Like, Gotta keep all the bling on them. But I'm getting ready to take these off soon. And I did my fall nails. And so these are my fall nails that I did. I've got pumpkins, bears, leaves, glitter, jewels. Um, that big one there with the jewels going down the middle. I actually hand painted those with one of my other fall items. Or fall. <laughs> I saw fall, so my head thought fall, but I meant to say haul. <laughs> I meant to say haul. Oh, I'm losing it. I bought these in a previous haul. And uh, yeah, I use them to and paint that one there, that one there. Um, sorry, I'm trying to point my light in a spot that you can see. Um, this one there, and this pinky, but I mostly covered that one with glitter. So, and then of course, being that I'm extra, I had to put them on this card and write fall and decorate it with a metallic sharpie. But yeah, these are super cool. You can do like watercolor, kind of like, um, you know, like how you'd use alcohol inks. 
you could do like really cool marble. Um, yeah. Whatever you can imagine, you could probably do. Mainly I would say like watercolor marbling, but yeah, they're pretty cool. I have a bunch of these. Sorry, I got sidetracked there. Um, back to the foils. So this one. This is super cute. It's like a teal and pink with nice spray green leaves. This would be good in like a spring summer set. Oh, that's right. This was the reason I bought this one. This particular set were these little pansies. I absolutely adore these. Pro probably next to roses, these are my favorite flower. Roses is by far my favorite flower. Um, my fiance, oh, these are nice fall ones. My fiance is forever bringing me home lilies. He loves lilies. I'm like, you can't bring me home lilies. Stop bringing me home lilies. We have cats. I don't want to kill my cats. Oh, I shouldn't say my cats. They're our cats, but you know, angry moms attack. Cat moms. So this is a really pretty color. Kind of like a pinky violet. Clusters of flowers. And I absolutely adore this one because of the roses. It's got like red and white roses on it. Oh, I got two in there. So this one's like nice pink flowers. Oh, this one's really cute too. Nice pink. Um, ugh, I do not like this one. I don't know. You know, at the early stages of my nail hauling when I was getting into doing my own nails I bought a lot of random foil sets online and I got a lot of paisley foils I just don't like them it's not my thing but when you buy these kits you wind up with some foils you don't like I guess but you know the thing is that people's taste their taste changes all the time so Maybe in like three years from now, I'll look at some of these foils and be like, oh my God, that's the best thing ever. But uh, right now it's like, mm, pass, hard pass. These are cute. Oh, I really like this one. This one's nice, black. Black with some pink. And this one. Lavender. Lavender with some pink flowers. I don't know, y'all. Maybe just a little bit of light. Maybe number two on the light. I'm trying to get my light situation figured out. Because I know I've had some complaints about my ring light. Makes it hard to see some stuff. And I just, I, I want to get better at this. And I want to film better quality videos. And I'm just trying things out and learning. And, you know, I appreciate you for sticking around watching my videos. Um, it does mean a lot to me. I am feeling like I'm still just learning all this stuff. Um, I'm by no means a pro like I do not spend very much time during the week focused on nail stuff I work 45 to 50 hours a week in my regular job and I have a bunch of other stuff I have to do in my life you know we're all busy we're all busy we all have lives and things we need to do so I really wish I spent more time working on my nail stuff but right now at this point in my life it's just a hobby that I absolutely love and I hope 
someday maybe I can do something with it, go somewhere, make press on nails, you know, but for now I just love it. Um, uh, and I just want to share my passion with you and I hope you enjoy it too. I really hope you enjoy it too. This would be so nice for Valentine's Day. Look at that. Love, love, love. Love, 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 love. Oh, this one's really nice too. This one's like Eiffel Towers on it in gold. I can't remember what this arch is called. But didn't they just like hang fabric over it for some reason to celebrate the artist or something like that in France? These are all Valentine's Day themed, which when you think about it, Valentine's Day is actually not that far away. Christmas is less than 100 days away. Sorry about it. You're probably hating me for mentioning that right now. I'm sorry. Christmas is coming. <laughs> but first, Halloween. Yes, I love Halloween. Honestly, fall is my favorite season, so I don't want to rush it. I love this one. It's like purple, light pink, gold hearts. Wow, I really, really, really love these ones. These Valentine's Day ones. Oh, this is like a crazy pop art one. Wow. Okay, love. OMG. What? And then this one. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. All right, what do I got here? Animal prints. One more package of foils. This one, this one's really cute. I think this might have been the reason I bought this one. This one's okay, kind of ugly. Ugh, I, I actually, you know what, I don't like this one because I don't like the way the leopard print looks. It looks like small holes. Um, and there's this phobia, like, it's it called tripophobia or tripo something like that, but it's a fear of small holes. And honestly, I don't know, it freaks me out. It's, it's true. Like a lotus flower pot. Oh, I hate those. I really hate those. Those things freak me out. They just make me feel really icky. I remember seeing this post on Facebook once of like top triggers for people with trypophobia and oh it was the most horrifying thing I'd ever seen in my life. I don't know. That's a weird phobia though but it's real I'm telling you it's real. My friend brought me back this small piece of it was a dead piece of coral from where was she? say like the Philippines or something. It was just a really small little piece that she had found on the beach. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life because it was full of small holes. I was like, oh, why'd you bring me that? That is just so wrong. Take that and throw it away. Nobody needs to see that. Oh, I like this one. This one makes me feel like rich older lady vibes like I need to do this with like some gold chain and like maybe like a dangling gold charm and super bling but maybe I'm just weird so this one is beautiful the different patterns with like an old newspaper or something in it that's one thing I don't have is chains I haven't got any chains yet. These. 
Let me get these out of the way. I'm totally running out of room to store foils, I swear. But yes, Deb, I did see your request for doing a foil video. I saw it and I am going to do one for you. I'm going to take it into consideration. I am not the world's best at foils, but for you, I'm going to give it a shot. But if you wanted to see one of my designs where I used foils, that would be these right here. So that Louis Vuitton is a foil. The marbling was hand done. The jeweling was hand done. Um, so yeah, originally I was supposed to go to this drag queen show next month. They were gonna come to Calgary, which is where I'm from. And um, all the drag queens are from Canada's Drag Race. I really love those shows. And I wanted to make them all a set of nails. So I was working on it and then the show got canceled because you know COVID. So now I have some sets of nails that I made for these queens and they'll just go in my collection for now. So. Tainomi, these were for you. And you saw earlier my Jimbo ones. Jimbo the drag clown. Okay, so back to the haul. Um, I did already open these and I put batteries in them, but I wanted to try this out. These are both the same and see if they actually worked as good as, you know, the videos on Instagram make them look. So it's a UV light with a, with a stamper on it. So when you're, you want it to lay like a paper charm or something down, you can stamp it onto your nail and then put the UV light on it. But I'm not sure how that's gonna work when you have like, wet polish or like poly gel or hard gel on there and then you stamp onto it. So to be determined if they work very good or not. To be determined. All right, so I've got one more small package here to show you today before we wrap things up. Actually, well, it is a small package, but there's quite a few things in there. So, let's get this stuff out of the way. All right, let me get comfortable here. Stamping plates. Okay, so I got these from Beauty Big Bang. Beauty Big Bang. Sorry, right, I'm just trying to figure out how I, how I get in here. <laughs> More complicated than it looks, okay. So this... This is a peacock one. It's XL065. Got nice uh, feather patterns over here. Some loose feathers, some arrows, um, and a beautiful peacock there. I love peacocks. I wanted to try reverse stamping this one. Um, and so far I haven't done reverse stamping very well yet. So that is a work in progress. I like how Beauty Big Bang sends their stamping plates. Most of the time they're in these little sleeves. They're packaged so nicely. I do love them. So this one is XL064. And it was just a nice kind of leaf pattern, flowers. It was just like repeating patterns. I really like this tree here. I thought the tree was really nice. 
Um, the main reason I bought it was these two birdies in the middle. I mean, I thought it was so cute. And I also kind of like this like cracked desert looking lines. can see the light in the roof. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. If you can't tell, I'm having lighting problems. I'm just trying to figure out what works best, so forgive me. Okay, so this one was Shop Ant XL002. Came from Beauty Big Bang, too, but came from their store. It's a little bit bent, but I just like the different patterns on it, you know, kind of like splatter. Um, paint swirls like just kind of like abstract this one's like a wood grain circles you know if you were to like pick two of these like say you did something like that in like black and then something like this in red and put it over top it'd give like a cool cool kind of effect so difficult to get into. Okay, so this is another Shop Ants one. This is Shop Ants XL020. It is a unicorn plate. So you've got this beautiful unicorn here in the moon, the stars. See, I really like this Believe in Magic one. That one I think is cute. Keep calm and unicorn. Unicorn. I like this one. This one kind of, uh, oh, that one's just really nicely etched. It's got a lot of detail. Beauty Big Bang one, XL 100. So this is a really nice galaxy theme one. Got the girl over here in her little buns. Mainly I wanted this one, honestly. I love that one. With the moon over the mountains. But this one, this bride and groom one is really cute too. Um, this one is like waves. I have to stop and look at it. That one is super, super, super cool. There's like waves in the moon. You got Saturn there. There's like a bunny, a lotus flower. This one is really pretty. Extra pretty. We got here. What do we got here? This is another Beauty Big Bang plate. It is XL006. And it's kind of a cat themed one. You know, wouldn't expect any less of me to have at least one cat themed item. So we've got birds, flamingos, these sheep, cat paws, 
cat's curled up in poses. What is that? Teddy bear. Cute little teddy bear having a nap. Bun buns. Butterflies. Monkeys. Unicorn. Another cat curled up. Paws. Doggies. What are these? What the heck is that? What is that? What does that look like to you? I have no idea. It's kind of like a bear. Sorry, that's the light in my roof. It won't go away. What is that? Is it a bear? Looks like a bear. I don't know. Something. Be mine. Be mine. XL013 stamping plate. This one, this one is very cute. So, we've got some cats. Some cats. Cat and a dog. And a dog. Dog. Okay, so this one's like cats and dogs. Let me look what's all on here. I need to look at it. So I've got cats, cats. What the? What? In the hell is that? What is that? What in the creepy, creepy beyond is that? What is that? I can't figure it out. It looks like a rat, but it looks like a rat with like the tail of an earwig. Like, what the hell? Okay, so that one's at least cute. Cats are cute. I love this one where it's like, but that's pretty big to put on a nail. So I guess if you like put one cat on one nail and the other cat on the other nail, and then you can have them join. And then there's some other cute kitties and doggies and like, you know, like a weird dog in a birthday hat. I don't know. This plate may be a little odd. This one is XL054. Sorry, I hit the camera. I hate that when I do that because then it goes all wobbly. Okay, I'll settle down now. Um, so this is a Galaxy one that I'm holding upside down. There we go. Uh, so you've got like a cat and a girl sitting over here looking at the stars. There's like this really cool wooden dock, probably like picture like a marsh and the sun setting and a wooden dock and there's like birds and uh, cattails waving in the breeze. That makes me think of a sunrise. Make a wish. This one's like, oh, I love this. That's super pretty. Aww. This cloud is laughing. He's laughing while he's snowing. Of course, he's laughing at us while he's snowing. Because we're down here cursing. So I really like these moons because I've seen a lot of nail. Like if you did like a flat black matte nail. And then put like one of these on each nail. And have like phase of the moon nails. Look at this camel. That's so cute. And this is like the solar system with the sun in the middle. These two moons. All right, and this is the last one. Oh, of course, Merry Christmas. XL002, I told you, less than 100 days till Christmas. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go, oh, I'm so sorry. Merry Christmas, pears, the cute little bears. Uh, you know, actually, you know, it would be really nice with this if you did this one, this full one in like a brown. And then you did this outline in like black or white or something and then stamped it over top of this full one. Cause then you get like a, 
outline on it. Look at the snow, little reindeer. Oh, I love the Christmas tree. That is very cute. Happy New Year, snowman. The penguin. Happy ho ho to you. Look at this polar bear. That is so cute. We got Santa, stockings. What is this? That's like supposed to be snow or something. Um, stars, snowflakes, a couple of different snowflakes. And these are nice size snowflakes. Like, you could do like one or two of those on a nail and they look really cute. I also love this snowflake hair. But that is everything I have for you guys today. Thank you for putting up with all my farting around with the lighting and stuff. I was just kind of trying out some different things today to see if I can work out some of the kinks. Um, thanks for sticking with me and watching my videos and being a part of my channel. And I hope uh, I'll see you next time because I got a lot more stuff to show you. There's a lot of stuff I want to do. Deb, like I said earlier, I didn't forget about you. I will do a foil video for you. And if you guys have any other requests for any other things you want to see, like, let me know. I mean, I'm down. I'm, I may not be the best at it, but I'm definitely learning. I've watched a lot of videos, seen a lot of different techniques, and um, I'm here for you. I just hope that you're happy, you're safe, you're in a good place, you know, you're enjoying life. If you're not enjoying life, I just wish only good things on you and for you. And I can't wait to talk to you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.